Hello everyone. Just taking a wee walk out. First time I've been out for ages to my camp. Just checking actually in these trees for well that's one of the purposes for it. Uh right, because I want to come out here with my son, but I'm just checking that there's been no wasps nests or anything building close or uh, that's a new one, that's a branch that's came down. And over there. Oh, you see the, see the hanging branch, centre focus? Hanging off that one there before, and uh, this one here. I wasn't sure about some of these trees, but... Oh well. Camp's still here. Even the fire with the left last time still here. It was there from when I was, was here last month. My tripods there, my, my one bench and my, my second one. So I'm just out to sit, have a little chill. I've not really been out, as I said. I've not really been out camping or even out in the woods, to be honest. So I'm just out. It's actually quite late at night. It's already like, it's already like eight o'clock at night. So I'll probably be leaving here in the dark, but I've got a head torch with me, so. It's alright. Um, yeah. Bring you guys back if I'm doing anything. I might end up not publishing this. I might. I don't know. I'll see. I'm just out to chillax for a little bit. I was getting bored in the house. <laughs> yeah, so I just grabbed a bit more birch bark. And uh, if you see just in there, that's actually that's the birch bark and fatwood that I found last time. So I'm going to prepare that a little bit. Use that to light the uh, light the fire. As I'm just out for the day, We're out for a little bit. Kind of cheating and using a lighter. I was actually trying to use a fire still there, but I can never get a fire going when I use my motor. The stainless steel it never works. Again, the usual thing. So dry here, I don't. I don't really have to bother about the size or the order that I put wood on. And tell you the truth, I don't even need a fire. It's not. It's not cold. It's really warm actually, but I want to cook me some sausages.
so I've got the fire going and it's got this branch off there for just taking the bark off it. Might be cook some sausages. The fire's going so fast man. Everyone's still bone dry from We've had a little bit of rain here and there but nothing much. Actually I need to move this log back a bit because the fire's burning my knees. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit better. As long as you remove the bark, which can hold bacteria, or, you know, you know the squash, whatever in it, you're generally all right. So I'm just using, I'm not using the actual blade of my knife, I'm using the spine of my knife. It's actually, it's a lot faster, a lot easier, and you're a lot less likely to, uh, you know, cut into the wood. You just don't really want to do it, you just want to take the bark off. So there we go, I've not done it all the way down, so I'm not going to put in sausages there, but there we go. Take off these wee lumps and bumps. Yeah, that should do. If you want it as well, you can always hold it over the fire and kind of sterilise it or... I do it, a little bit of sterilised, a little bit just to burn off that last little bit of moisture under the bark. Just hold it in the flames. There we go. Lovely. I'll leave that there for a minute. Not quite ready to cook yet. <laughs> Boo. Sausage is on. It's literally all the food brought with me, some kielbasa. But I do enjoy it, so... That was kind of the plan, just to head out here. I just grabbed some sausage quickly, I think in shock, because I couldn't be bothered cooking it and taking loads of stuff. I've only got my little, like, little backpack I use for work and that. Come out, a couple of beers, some sausage and stuff. And that was kind of about as far as I got uh, in the whole plan thing. It's just good to be out rather than sitting in the house or whatever. On the plus side though, the area looks pretty clear, so the next few days, next week or whatever, if we've got decent weather, if I do take my little boy out, it uh, yeah, it should be totally fine for that. So that's a plus. Oh, it's hot. Well, so Zaz is ready. Ah! That is hot. That's so good. There's one thing they definitely know how to do here in Poland, it's make sausages. Ow. And then obviously done over the fire, ten times better. Well, I'm going to enjoy these. I'm sure you've got better things to do on YouTube lands and watch me eat sausages. But I'll um I'll bring you back as and when my thoughts collect.
There we go, guys. So we're heading home now. And you can see the sky there. That's the way we're heading over in there. Uh, we're in a wee clearing. I've videoed here before. When are we clearing? We're going into the forest. There's another little bit of woodland. Hopefully, though, because it's kind of late at night and the boar will be active. Kind of hoping I don't rock up on one again. Because I did before. It's my only concern. Uh, but I think in the summer, I don't know if there's so much boar activity. This because because we are actually quite close to town. I've got maybe half an hour walk home. Pardon me. So I don't know. There's not, or I haven't been able to find any. There's definitely no lakes this way. I don't know little ponds or there's no little you know river streams, burns, whatever you want to call it creeks so I think a lot of them are away out further in the forest with the heat the unavailability of water here more people during the day you know runners cyclists all that kind of jazz so yeah I think it'll be all right anyway I know you can barely see my head but with that said uh, thanks for watching guys we'll try and get some other stuff done but Given the circumstances, the current circumstances and things, it's, uh, it's just proven a bit difficult, so I'll get out and about as and when I can. Uh, I thank you for all the subscribers, I thank you any future subscribers. If you have watched this and you do like it, you know, hit the subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>